The salmon's gonna come out perfectly cooked, but it really is the dill sauce that makes this recipe. This sauce is going to lighten up your salmon. It's going to add lots of great complex flavor, and it's also gonna add texture because you're gonna get a little bit of crunch from that shallot. You really won't believe how delicious it is until you bite into it. It is a must make, do not skip this step. You're gonna start with four center cut salmon fillets. You wanna make sure that your salmon fillets are right about one and a half inch thick. So we're gonna start by patting those fillets dry. I'm just gonna grab a paper towel and dab any of that excess moisture away from the surface of the salmon. Then you're gonna lay them on your rimmed baking sheet. I like to line it with nonstick aluminum foil to make sure that salmon easily comes off. Drizzle with about one to two tablespoons of olive oil, and then you're gonna add one and a half teaspoon of kosher salt to a small bowl and combine that with a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then you're gonna sprinkle that evenly over your salmon. Then you're gonna grab a lemon and you're gonna zest it over the top of each salmon filet. Last but not least, we're gonna come in with four tablespoons of unsalted cold butter. You're gonna slice that butter really thin, and then you're gonna divide your little butter pats evenly over each of the salmon fillets. When the salmon goes into the oven, that butter is gonna melt down and meld with all of that seasoning in the lemon and it's going to be so juicy and so succulent and so delicious. So really quick, we're gonna set this salmon aside and I'm gonna show you one of the easiest and quickest and best side dishes to make with this salmon recipe. You're gonna grab one bunch of asparagus, it's gonna get laid out on a rimmed baking sheet. Drizzle your asparagus with one to two tablespoons of olive oil. Then you're gonna sprinkle with a generous pinch of kosher salt, a little pinch of black pepper. Grab another lemon, zest half of it over that asparagus. Then you're gonna toss everything together. The salmon and the asparagus are gonna go into a preheated 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for nine minutes. While those are in the oven, let me show you how to make this dill sauce. It is so insanely good and so easy to make. You'll mince one tablespoon of shallot, mince one clove of garlic, and then you're gonna chop one and a half teaspoon of fresh dill. So that's all the chopping you have to do. Now we're gonna get to mixing. To a small bowl, add a quarter cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, the juice of half a lemon, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a generous quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, a generous pinch of black pepper, your shallot, your garlic, and your dill, and just grab yourself a spoon and mix all of that together. This is what makes the salmon a really big dill. Around here, we are huge on sauces. And if you love a good sauce too, I'm gonna link to our saucy recipes playlist at the end of this video. The nine minutes is up and we're gonna go and grab our asparagus, take that out of the oven. It's definitely done cooking. And what I like to do is just take the internal temperature of my salmon at this point. There is nothing worse than dry, rubbery, overcooked fish. So if you have an instant read thermometer, just go ahead and stick it directly in the thickest part of the salmon filet. You can see right here, we're in the 90s. We wanna be in the 120s. So I'm gonna return my salmon to the oven for about four more minutes. That'll be a total of 13 minutes cook time. Took the full 13 minutes to get in that 120-ish range. Let me show you one more little side dish that I love to serve with this fish that goes perfectly with the salmon and the dill sauce. I've got three cups of cooked white rice. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley, one third cup of chopped green onions, two teaspoons of fresh dill, and the juice of half a lemon. You're just gonna toss that all together, and it's a beautiful elevated rice side dish that'll go perfect with your fish. To plate it, I'm gonna add a couple of generous spoonfuls of that rice. Then I'm gonna come in with a thin metal spatula and I'm just gonna wiggle it in between the bottom of the salmon filet and the skin. And as I'm lifting it, I'm just gonna hold that skin in place and gently lift the salmon filet away from the skin. If you enjoy the skin, you can totally serve it, still intact, I'm not a fan. The salmon filet goes down, I'll add some of my asparagus and then we'll bring in our dill sauce you can garnish with some little lemon slices, some fresh dill, and a lemon for squeezing. If you're a huge salmon fan, we have a stuffed baked salmon that is surprisingly easy to make and next level for entertaining and enjoying with the family all year long.